Hello, good morning and uh, welcome again to our Morning Devotion Insight. And uh, this morning, I'm so glad, we are so glad to see you. And uh, I just want to share with you, you know, a, a, a topic entitled, The Bigger Picture. The Bigger Picture. And uh, my scripture is found in uh, John chapter 9. And uh, please go back and read John chapter 9, verse 1 to 7. There is the healing of this uh, man that is was born, born blind, all right? But I'm just going to read uh, one scripture to you, and that is verse 3. John 9, verse 3 says, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed. You know, here, uh, of course, it's a story about, uh, you know, there was a blind man and uh, he was born blind. And in fact, uh, in verse 1 and 2, it says, As Jesus went along, he saw a man blind uh, from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? All right, so the, the disciples were asking Jesus, who sinned, uh, uh, Lord? Is it he sin or the parents sin that he is born blind? Uh, so, uh, but that's why we have our scripture just now in verse 3. It says, Neither this man nor his parents sin, uh, said Jesus. But this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. All right. So here we see what we see. The, the disciples was asking Jesus, you know, Who's, who's, uh, whose sin is it? Uh? Is it this guy or this, uh, uh, this man who was born blind from birth or his parents that caused him to be like that? So sometimes in life, you know, we can also be asking, you know, some things happen in our life and we say, you know, is it me? You know, is it something that I did wrong? Or is it, is it my parents? Is it people beside me or my spouse, my boss? Or, you know, we, we look around and we, we, we try and uh, find, find something that or someone that we can point at to say that, oh, this is the reason why I'm like that. Uh, so, but here in this story we read about uh, Jesus today, it's clear that the disciples and others need to see a bigger picture, right? We need to see a bigger picture. And it's not just this man, this man's family, this man's parents, you know, as, they, as the disciples ask Jesus about the blind man, they are only looking through what? Through the narrow lens of their own thinking. Jesus explains Though that the bigger picture in this man's story is about bringing honour and glory to God. Amen. So as you read along the storyline, you realise that what did Jesus did? Huh? Is, in fact, it says here, it says, um, verse 6 says, having said, having said what he said, his, Jesus went and spit on the ground, made some mud with his saliva, with the saliva and put it on the man's eyes. Uh, he made uh, the, he put some of his saliva onto the mud, put it onto the man's eyes, and then he says, "Go." He told him, "Wash in the pool of Siloam." And uh, so the man went and washed and came home, seeing. In fact, his neighbors and those who had formerly seen him begging, uh, "Isn't this the same man who used to sit and beg?" Some claimed that he was. Others said, "No, he only, he only looks like him." But he himself insisted. I am the man. How then were your eyes open? How then were your eyes open? They demanded. He replied, The man they called Jesus made some mud uh, and put it on my eyes. He told me to go to Siloam to, and wash. So I went and washed and then I could see. And then I could see. So here we can see that what was the bigger picture? The bigger picture was that that's going to be a miracle. The bigger picture is that Jesus is going to perform a miracle of healing, giving sight to him, healing him of his blindness. Healing him of his blindness. Amen. So in our lives too, you know, we need to remember that though we are often quick to judge what we see, there is always more to the story. Amen. There is always more, more to what is happening around us, more to what is our pain, you know, the, the, the sickness, uh, the, the problems that we are going through. There is more to it. There is a bigger picture. Amen? There's a bigger picture. In our lives, how can we make sure that we see the bigger picture? Huh? How can we make sure? Is that we do not, we do not jump, we do not fret, we do not say, you know, why? You know, sometimes we, we 
questioning is, is not a sin, it's nothing wrong. But when we begin to make a conclusion, oh, that's what it is, that's how it will end up, that's how my life is going to end up bankrupt, you know, my life is going to end up sick forever, my life is going to be good for nothing. But no, things happen so that God will show us a bigger picture. And so often, you know, as we see this story, this account of Jesus performing a miracle that healed this blind man who was born blind from, from being a child. You know, he was just born blind, but yet he was able to experience a miracle of healing of sight. So this morning, let us pray. Dear God, help us to rem remember you are in control and know the bigger picture. Uh, tell yourself this morning, God, you have a bigger picture for my life. Huh? Help us to invite you to show us the bigger picture. You know, sometimes God is always trying to knock at our heart, knock at our lives and, hey, I want to show you the bigger picture, but you say, ah, no, ah, I'm not interested. You know, no. Invite Jesus. Invite Him to show us the bigger picture. Amen. And then you will see that God, yeah, thank you that you remember me that you do have a bigger picture for my life. I may not see it right now. I may feel that it's not, there's, there's just seeing through my eyes, the, the lens of just seeing it, just very small. But this morning, may this story challenge you to say that there is indeed a bigger picture. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.